I returned about one week ago. The train ride was nice, was normal, uneventful, and uh, I had a day of rest here at home. Soon after, I started to work in my atelier because I, I have to finish some commissions. It's not the favorite part of my work, but I like to make people happy and the bills need to be paid. Uh, so I don't really, really like to do custom works, but sometimes it's necessary. So now I'm putting a bit of uh, pressure on me to finish them because I would like to go to Romania. I don't have a fixed uh, date, a fixed time. My mother is asking me every day, when are you coming, when are you coming? It is stressful to get this constant question. Um, yeah, it's hard uh, because I'll have to finish uh, the work in the atelier. With this occasion, my mom said uh, that she would love to have some skirts. She always likes uh, uh, skirts. By the way, <laughs> I'm um, having no makeup because uh, I will soon have to leave and um, I just wanted to say hello and to also finish my makeup. I'm using sun lotion, although it's not very really sunny outside. So I'm also doing skirts now for my mother. It's not easy to estimate her size because I've seen her last time in February and she was very frail and slim. She has uh, been sick with gout and I think now she recovered, her weight uh, recovered and it's difficult to estimate her waist and the length uh, of the skirt of her preferred uh, length skirt because she always says please don't make it too long, don't make it too short but I found some very nice lycra uh, fabrics, very very nice prints and it's easier with lycra because I will use an elastic band and if it's too long I can cut it there on the spot and uh, on Sunday I went to a very nice museum uh, I only worked uh, half of the day very nice museum I think I will show you the visit in the next episode uh, it was very very interesting and I'm sure you like it as well uh, the shop is taking a break I'm looking at the time <laughs> The shop is taking a break. I decided to close it for the summer because it is quiet. Still in Vienna, it's not very busy with tourists. And uh, I have so much work to do in my atelier. I have projects to, to finish, those commissions. Um, I need to take some time off. It is very important for an artist, for a creative, to take a sabbatical of six weeks, ideally every six months. And um, I will keep it closed until the end of August, beginning of September, but whoever needs me can contact me. Yeah, so my shop will be taking a break and I just uh, want to rest. I want to work in peace and to be available to anyone that needs my designs or services. Sure, I will be staying with my mom for a few weeks, two or three weeks. I love to spend time with her. I love to take care of her, of her cats, of her dogs, of her chickens, <laughs> to breathe the mountain air. So it will be nice. I will be also seeing my niece and hopefully my nephew that lives in Switzerland. He will come to Romania. Uh, now I will have to go to the atelier to work, to sew. Uh, I don't know what I will wear because uh, I'll have to wear something very very comfortable i'm bending down a lot in the atelier and in the evening i will go to a concert uh, i will go to a pop soul jazz concert of zorica she's a friend of mine i love her and uh, she has a concert after now after <laughs> more than three years i think with public uh, she has been looking for a long time for um, a pianist to accompany her, she's a singer and uh, she could never find the perfect fit and by chance, by pure chance, she found Alexander, I think uh, his name is Alexander, uh, he's from Ukraine, he's very very talented, he came to Vienna with three children uh, he said that, uh, this is what I know from her, I never met him, but he told her that he had a beautiful, creative, uh, idyllic life with his wife and children until January, until February. 
and all of a sudden the world changed and they came here so uh, they will be performing Tolika and Alexander they will be performing this evening um, they don't sell uh, tickets or it's only with uh, donations so whoever wants to donate how much uh, they will be happy uh, I had Tolika in one of my episodes here I will link it up here that you can listen to her beautiful voice and I will be taking you with me in the evening. Now I will have to finish my makeup. It is midday. I will go. Uh, the concert starts at 8.30 p.m. in Kusmaul. I think it's called a restaurant. I think I've never been there. But yeah, uh, it's nice. It's nice to listen to some live music finally. Yeah, so I'll have to finish my makeup now. Makeup is almost done. It's so nice to have both windows open here in the bathroom. Uh, I can hear the birds and it's so refreshing. Uh, it is a warm day, but uh, it's refreshing here with the tiles, with the bathroom tiles. And as long as the cats are not around, I can keep both windows open. I'm using now some blush. I will not be using any lipstick. Uh, in the trains here in Lower Austria, you don't have to wear the face mask, but in Vienna, everywhere, so in the underground buses, trams, you still have to wear the face mask. Uh, there are many cases now registered in Austria, so uh, people still have to be careful. And I will be using uh, just a lip balm and the lipstick right before the concert before the location, maybe on the street. Uh, I have a mirror on my phone. I'm used to it now, to have one or two lipsticks in my bag and the mirror to apply the lipstick. <laughs> it is uh, not very convenient, but um, I don't want to have it spread all over me while I wear the mask. And um, I will be wearing uh, a skirt that I've made for me, another skirt. Uh, I bought 8 meters of lycra with a nice pattern. I've made a skirt for my mom and then I said why not creating one for me. So I will be wearing the skirt for the concert. But now uh, at the shop I think I will be wearing something comfortable. I will have to bend a lot today to cut fabrics. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> I will take the shoes, the skirt and the top in a bag. And uh, we'll see each other later. Uh, you'll be listening to some music. Uh, I hope that the sound will be good, that I can record the sound and the lightning. Let's see. But uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to listen to Tolika and Alexander. See you a little bit later. <laughs> It was so sweet to see in my mailbox the card that was sent from Felkisch from the slow fashion store Lavendel. Liebe Grüße aus Lavendel, Felkisch. Sweet surprise. I've decided to stop by my shop to bring some dresses because tomorrow I have a fitting with two customers and I don't want to stress tomorrow because I'll have to go to get some fabrics to sew. The dresses are here now, they are hanging, <laughs> uh, waiting patiently for uh, tomorrow's fitting. I'm very curious about it. Uh, the location, the concert location is not far from here. It's only two underground stations away. This is my skirt. You can see it better now. It's a little bit dark. It's almost 8.30, so I have to rush. I didn't want to wear something too uh, complicated. I didn't want to be overdressed. This is a cotton top. It's a simple cotton top. It's very warm outside, so <laughs> the skirt is refreshing. <laughs> I like it very much. 
now I will have to go. I'm looking at the olive trees. Unfortunately, they are not doing well. They are not recovering, but I'm not giving up on them. I just water them. I'm continuing to take good care of them and to beg them to recover. I trimmed them some days ago. Let's see. But uh, yeah, now I'll have to leave, not to be late. I'm sure they won't start on the point at 8.30, but I don't want to be too late. Let's hear some music. <laughs> Good evening. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you so much. taking a break uh, to get some fresh air. We are in front of a restaurant, Cosmaul. Uh, it's called, I've never been here. It is an amazing location and I'm impressed. Thank you so much for your music. Uh, tell our viewers a little bit about uh, your concert tonight and I really hope that other concerts will uh, follow. Uh, uh, since when do you know Alexander? Uh, yes, Alexander uh, is pianist and he came from Ukraine before two or three months. Uh, he's a professor, piano teacher, oh. and he had a, a, a family, four daughters, I think, and everyone plays instruments. And uh, there is really, really great family. And uh, the, today, that was uh, our first project. Uh, I studied here in Vienna, I studied Music Institute. Uh, I'm a singer and uh, welcome. I'm so happy about tonight and uh, 
uh, about everything. You, you, you are uh, uh, playing the, the flute? Yes. yes. And you are Alexander's uh, wife? And uh, no, she's oh, my friend. friend. <laughs> Good friend. Good yes. friend. So yes. beautiful, so beautiful. Yes, we play together. Uh, don't worry, be happy. Be happy. Yes. 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 Amazing. One song. Yes. yes. One song. Next One time will be two. <laughs> yes. yes. So we'll continue now. Uh, uh, you yes. will continue with the concert. Yes. Please yes. come. Enjoy. Such a delight. Such a delight to be here. <laughs> Thank we you. Thank you. And let's get in. <laughs> <laughs> I met my wonderful, wonderful friend Felicia. I haven't seen her since seven, eight months. She's my sunny angel and she appeared at the concert like an angel, like an angel by pure chance. Uh, so we met, I was filming, I was so focused uh, filming and then Felicia was waving at me, hi, hi, hi. And uh, now she's going to drive me to the train station. Uh, it's almost midnight and she offered, she insisted to drive me to the train station. Uh, I'm happy. Uh, how, how did you like the concert? It was fabulous. Fabulous. Yes, yes. Uh, Felicia will come in another episode because uh, I Yes, I have some questions for her that I think her answers will be very interesting for you. So uh, she will be coming uh, in a future episode. Like a uh, special guest for what? Exactly, special guest. We kiss you. Bye. I will soon be hanging up my measuring tape. It is 4.30 p.m. I've been working here since the morning because I didn't have time to come here yesterday on Saturday. I had so much work to do at home. At lunchtime, a colleague of mine from Bucharest uh, called me just to say hi. I haven't heard her in years. She is a very talented uh, designer and tailor and also a theology teacher. She was so surprised uh, when I told her that I'm here in my atelier sewing because usually in Romania you don't sew on Sunday. You should rest, you should spend time with your family, go to church. But I told her that I've lighted up some incenses in the morning and I've said a prayer and God knows that uh, all I wish to do is creating beautiful designs, making people happy. The dress is ready, is waiting there <laughs> to be picked up because tomorrow morning I have a fitting at the shop with a lovely customer. It's the last fitting and uh, yeah, she'll be attending a wedding. Uh, she, she will be happy. She will be happy to have the dress tomorrow. Uh, by pure coincidence, uh, I met a few days ago friends of mine, uh, Charity and Tassilo. Charity is creating gorgeous jewelries. Uh, I've known them uh, since years now. They are so, so lovely. 
and uh, they have a beautiful house here in Vienna. Sometimes they organize uh, events there for and with artists and they invited me today at 6 p.m. Uh, they are hosting a classic music concert. I so much look forward to listen again to beautiful live music. Uh, I will have to rush. I hope that I can film a little bit for you from there. Their house is magical, is always so full of life, of color, of warmth and creativity uh, because they like to collect art. Uh, I will have to rush now. Uh, I will change into the skirt that I was uh, wearing at Sorica and Alexander's concert. I so much like it. Here in the atelier is a little bit chill, but outside is warm and the skirt is ideal for warm weather. I will be having a different top, but yes, the skirt is nice. And uh, yeah, let's see if I can film and uh, we'll see each other at the house a little bit later. I'll have to catch the fast metro. It's Sunday, so uh, <laughs> I should not lose it because I want to be on time. They are doing uh, corona testing uh, there at the house for those that didn't have time to do it. Um, yeah, so until later. I just arrived. The house has such a calming, lush garden. I just made a, a quick test, corona test. I find it so nice that I asked the guests uh, to do that. The cases are rising, as I said before. Uh, so I'm waiting for the test results. I hope everything is good. Uh, I will um, film a little bit. I asked uh, Tassilo if I'm allowed to do that and he said, sure. Uh, I will film a little bit for you. And maybe one of the artists uh, would uh, also like to say hello before beginning the concert. Uh, it's so, so nice. A proper Sunday evening. So, Charity, my beautiful, talented friend, uh, joined me. She's our host. And um, I mentioned uh, earlier, so I, I told our sweet viewers that you like to host uh, uh, art events uh, here at your home. Uh, so, uh, tell us a little bit more about you you are a mother yeah you are <laughs> a jewelry designer yes and you are an art lover true and uh, yeah t tell us about uh, your children because I heard you talking yes. to the guests how, yes. how old are they um, there are two girls uh, one is 13 and the other is 19 <laughs> 19 yes and you were mentioning that your 19, 19 year old daughter she's she studying is, uh, she is, goes she, yeah uh, yes, she's uh, stepping into my footsteps. Uh, so I've done jewelry. I mean, <laughs> I do jewelry and uh, um, well, I'm a goldsmith. And uh, but I also do jewelry in different materials. So um, I must say I do love jewelry. That I not only wear what I make, but also things that I get on my travels and yes so you talked about hosting art events um, we have a space that uh, uh, is you know that hosts uh, you know artists we have uh, venissages we have music events and I think it is nice to support fellow you know <laughs> I said your house is magical and I remember that uh, you are also hosting dinners yes. with delicious food. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, I also love to cook. So, you know, this is all a form of art. And, yes, uh, yes. Also enjoyment. I must say that um, it uh, says also a lot about one's uh, view of life, you know. Yes, I think yes. I do love life. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Thank you, Charity. And uh, 
uh, we'll see each other in a few minutes because I see the guests are coming and uh, you want to say hello to them. Yes. I will go now to the artist. Okay. Until soon. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Hi. Uh, <laughs> can you please tell uh, our viewers uh, what's your name and what uh, type of music are you performing? A little bit about yourself. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Uh, my name is Ksenia Galanova and I'm operatic singer uh, living in Vienna. Uh, and uh, I would like to sing today um, pieces of Franz Schubert, uh, Louis Spohr uh, and Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Wow, beautiful. I so much look forward to uh, listening to your music. Uh, Tassilo uh, told me that you are living in the nearby and you enchant them with your music during the lockdown, during the pandemic, like almost every day you offer them music. Um, how, how you came with this idea? And uh, I, I, I'm thanking you. I'm thanking you, although I didn't uh, hear you, but um, I know how important art is uh, during those times. Um, I have to say a big thanks for Tassilo for this great idea. It was uh, his idea. Ah. And um, I made it uh, with pleasure because I think it was important uh, during the first lockdown. And um, for me it was also kind to say something for the universe or for the world, yes. Yes. And um, I uh, made my music, my classic music from <laughs> uh, in the garden, so from uh, my flat. Really? From your balcony? From the window? <laughs> from the window, <laughs> from the window ah. of the kitchen. <laughs> wow. Yes. And um, every evening uh, uh, I uh, made music of Verdi, Wagner, Puccini, Tchaikovsky. <laughs> How lucky your neighbors yes, are! Yes, yes, yes. And um, we made, I think, forty-one uh, concerts. Forty-one! Yes. Oh my God! I'm getting goosebumps. Uh, wow! <laughs> you, you are an angel, really. <laughs> thank you. Very um, much. Thank you. Thank you for um, being here, for talking to us. And um, I'm sure you want to save a little bit of your energy now for the concert. So I will be getting my seat mm -hmm. and a glass of water and we will listen to you with great, great pleasure. Thank you very much. <laughs> Ähm, und ja, dann wünsche ich uns ein gutes Konzert. Also nochmals vielen Dank fürs Kommen und vielen Dank für eure Danke. 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 Klavier und Klarinette.
What a beautiful and charming way to end the week and to begin a new one uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow is Monday. Oh, I hope you enjoyed the concert uh, together with me. It, the ladies are so talented. I was getting the uh, goosebumps. We were invited now to admire some uh, art. I will be showing you. Uh, everything is wonderful here. I'm so fascinated by the mastery, the craft. I know that uh, it takes years and years of study, but also a natural talent and I highly appreciate it. I appreciate it how their soul, their soul is poured out to us, to charm us and to offer us this state of good. This is art. Thank you.